Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing! Today we're gonna paint Billie Eilish's face on my Brandy Melville sweater. Why are we doing this? Because A, I love Brandy Melville. I'm obsessed with Brandy Melville. It like to a point where it's like weird, okay? I just wanna live in the Brandy Melville store. But I can't right now because I'm living in India in a house that I can't leave because of coronavirus and COVID-19. So I'm starting things like painting on sweaters. But the real reason I'm doing this is because I washed my favorite Brandy Melville sweater. I hung it on the balcony, I hung it in the sun and Indian sun is like a motherfucker. It's like gonna kill you. It's like gonna burn your light and it burned my sweater light. So now half of my sweater is like light green, the other half is like darker green. That was very frustrating and hurting to my heart. So I had to do something about it. So I figured why don't I combine the things I like, Brandy Melville, Billie Eilish, because anyway, I really wanted to go to a concert of her this year, but I can't because I'm in the house in India. So I'm gonna paint her on my sweater. I already started and then I felt like this is something where we should do it together, you know? I need your support here. I started it and now I feel like I don't want to do it anymore. You know that feeling like you have this idea, you want to do something, and then you start doing it. You're like, oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. And then after you do it for five minutes, you're like, shit, this is not good. This is how I feel. Like already I started painting and I don't think this is gonna look like Billie Eilish. And I will have to wear this sweater because I only brought one warm sweater here. But that's why I need your support. We're gonna paint her together. But I don't want to make it this like boring ass video like where you see over the shoulder and you see time lapse of me painting the face. For that you can go to all the channels who put nice piano music under it and show you time lapses, which I watch too, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just talking about it for so long because I don't wanna fuck it my sweater. So let's just start. I don't know if you paint or if you paint it in school, but I like to paint sometimes when I'm locked in the house for four months. And then I realized that fucking painting skin tone is a pain in the ass because I never get it right. So I'm gonna call this an abstract painting of Billie Eilish because then when it's abstract, you can do anything. You can make like a green face. You can make like a blue face. You can make like a brown eyes. No, but you can't do that. My mom's a painter. My grandma is a painter. And now that I'm painting, I'm a painter. I need to perform right now. This is like my childhood trauma. I have made some research on if I can actually order Billie Eilish. <laughs> if I can just order Billie Eilish here <laughs> and I can't. But if I can actually order Randy Melville things to India because I don't have a store here. You can. There is a mail forwarding service to bring Brandy Melville clothes to India. But not if there's a lockdown. Another thing I've been lately really obsessed with is cats. Cats. I the fuck. I was a absolute dog person my whole life. I grew up with dogs. My parents had Dax dogs. They were both blind and deaf. A lot of fun. So I, hey, I was afraid of cats. Like so fucking afraid of cats. But the reason is, I hope the sound is not so loud. They're building houses here down the street. So the reason why I was so afraid of cats is because my aunt had cats. They were like Siamese cats or something. Like the, they were literally like the mean cats from Lady and the Tramp. Did you watch it? Give the video a thumbs up if you watched it. You can also give it a thumbs down because I think YouTube doesn't care. It's just about the thumbs. So I watched Lady and the Tramp, these mean ass Siamese cats. And then my aunt had these cats. And whenever I would visit my cousin, they would have to be kept in a room, not let them out because they hated strangers and they would cry and they would scratch with their nails. They put them in the bathroom, I think, or in their sleeping room. Maybe they had their own bathroom, bedroom. But they would scratch on the door and I was terrified of cats. But then here, there is a street cat that lives around the houses. And I started making friends with the street cat and the street cat got a baby. And I saved the baby's life, kind of like. Now I'm in love with cats. And when I, if I ever get out of here, ever, back to normal life, I really want cats. And I can even tell you specifically already which cats I want. But I'm not gonna tell you. I want you to guess in the comments which is my favorite type of cat. I know, I know. Adopt, don't shop, I know. I'm like really contemplating right now if I should continue this painting. I need some support here. <sighs> That's literally how I feel. Bored in the house, bored in the house, bored. Why am I doing it? Nothing helps, use your finger in all kinds of life situations. Okay, let's go to the hair because have you seen the face? 
Yeah. When you didn't look for one minute, I did the hair. Nothing else. The green of her hair, it was really hard to replicate, but I think I just nailed it. And I had to come inside because it was like, I was being grilled. I realized I didn't wash my brushes last time I used them. Now they're all kind of like stiff, but that's what we're gonna have to work with. Dude, I love you. I stood for a minute, I stood like away from it in the distance and from the distance it looked good. So I can wear it, I just cannot go close to people, which anyways, with social distancing. So it's gonna be all great. How are you feeling about this painting so far? Yeah, I can feel that too. So you know there's those people like, I've seen it on YouTube, they're just like random people. They don't paint or anything, but they see artists who paint paintings. These paintings just look like, like they put nails in a piece of wood or painted triangles and then a little bit of paint blobs. But they get like five million dollars for their paintings. That is what I should do with this sweater. I should be like, this was hand painted by someone who's dead now. Cause it's really important as an artist that you're dead, I think, if you wanna be really famous, you know? Like some dead famous artist painted that before he died. He knew Billie Eilish though. And his last thing that he did before his death was painting Billie Eilish's face on the sweater and then people would be amazed. I think this is what I need to do, considering how this is going. Okay, we have the sweater. We're making progress. How are you feeling about the progress? 10 out of 10? Yeah. So we're making progress. We have the sweater. Now we need to decide on a color for the necklace. Now decide now. Okay, I don't like it. So I'm just gonna do my own idea. You should probably wear like a silver chain, gold chain or anything. It's kind of hard to paint. So... Yellow? Should we do yellow? Yellow is good. I'm in the mood for some yellow. We're doing like this. Like the inside of an egg. When it's a nice egg. I don't like egg. People won't know that this is a chain, but it's okay. Because they could also take it for part of the sweater and think that this is a very artistic sweater that she's wearing. Yep. We want to do some really artsy shit here. Yeah. Got to do some really artsy shit, you know? Oh my god, now it looks like a cheetah print. She would never wear that. I think I'll feel better if I'll make, I'll give her good eyes. Oh, Stop disturbing me. <laughs> For her eyes, we need like a watery blue. Also, we haven't done her nose. We can't just leave girl without a nose. I'm so scared of the nose. I don't even want to do the nose. I'll just not do a nose. I have a cute nose anxiety here. I think I need a zanny. <laughs> That doesn't look like her nose at all. A bad brush. It's always the brush. It's never the artist, you know. Dude, I should just paint the whole thing with my finger. <laughs> just remember it as it is right now. If I fuck it up right now, you saw it. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And now we're gonna do the lashes. So we're done. I'm gonna show it to you. It's not dry. I need to be really, 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 really careful. 